Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. That new moon that we had, that was some intense energy for a lot of people, leaving a lot of people confused um, and in some ways um, feeling pushed. There's a lot of chest pressure, uh, just like I knew there would be. I mean, I really did my best to lovingly prepare people and sometimes there's just no way to prepare for stuff. I mean, childbirth, taxes, and death. I mean, how do you prepare for certain things? Sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you just have to float through it the best way you can and not resist. So here we are. We're on the other side here. The next week brings the full moon where the things that we want to see, you know, there's going to be some perspective things on that, where what do we want to see and what are we shedding light on? And some things that may seem elusive are actually closer than you think. So there's a few things to know uh, that I just want to say to you in this quick little message. And that is that this new moon is bringing in an auspicious life. Please make your life new. Please expect things to be new. It gets really confusing around these times with these uh, moon energies when it seems like things are taken away or moved and you want to say, hey, who moved that thing on me? But it's the good stuff is actually moved upwards, not necessarily forwards, upwards. And the very things that you may have wished for, they're coming true here. I want to let you know that as a person who does readings and sessions, the sessions have been on fire. There's a lot of people uh, who actually do have great, fabulous experiences. What is baffling is when it gets too much 3D or third dimensional, too karmic again, it gets really confusing. Your energies get elevated. The world gets in and pff, you've been squished and where's the union energy? Where's the heart energy? It's up here. And if you are in a situation where th those kind of things keep happening, I want to let you know that all you have to do is bring in the ener your own true love energies into your body and shift your focus. Not always easy to do. Easier said than done. Uh, the other thing, too, has to do with the children. This particular month is going to be a lot of focus. It's a lot about the children. It's all about the children. The children that are close to you, near and dear to you, residing near you, even living close to your home, they may feel like they're affected. You may become aware of things with them. You may have to help those kids through certain patches that they're going through. They're going through their stuff like this boom bang very quickly, um, alarmingly quickly. It is really a challenge for the direct parent who is with the child as to what things they should do. And if you don't know, some of that is covered in my uh, daily living in multidimensionality webinar. You'll see it on my website. Under webinars, I Put the uh, picture there as a reminder. And also, you know, how do you not let the world in? How do you do this on a daily basis? Because it is going to be day by day. Children themselves have things that they are experiencing as well as what they are releasing. And this is going to be their new life as well. New parents in some cases new situations, new geographical locations, and the kids don't live in a bubble. Kids are bombarded. So if, like me, a lot of you survive the, did you survive the 60s? Did you survive the 70s? Did you survive the 80s? Did you survive the 90s? And it keeps getting more and more, more exposure to the extreme stuff. Why? Because people are trying to feel something. They want, they're trying to do things the same old way, but it is not bringing about the same results. In fact, it's hurting or it's harming. It's detrimental in some cases.
So uh, the children are letting go of the stuff that they've experienced alarmingly quickly, but it comes on very quick and sudden. And the only way to know in individual situations is through your high heart energies. It is possible to get help for the kids. And some of the, the help that's needed, I want to reassure you, this is a temporary situation for the kids. It could be nutritional. It could be take them out of school for a day when there's one of these events, like a new moon, because they just need it. They need a day of being still. They don't need to be in everyone's energy. They may need to not go to church and not contend with all of that energy or other religions. Uh, they may need just, you know, a quiet day for themselves and their energies to adjust rather than in a group situation. So please feel what is best for your child or the children near you. Kids are stressed out. They really are. And they are releasing a lot of past life stuff in a really short time period here. So um, enough about the kids. I want to reassure you, in addition to that, because of that, or let's say because of this next thing I'm going to tell you, the Rod and Staff Blue and Golden Twin Flame Unions are here. We are at this physical level of living. I am one of them. I am anchored here in Chicago, and I'm not kidding you when I say the word anchored. There are times when I would love to fly off somewhere or go do something, and the message comes, stay put, stay put. And I've had to stay put. I've gone around, I've done my grid work, I've done a little bit of polishing up, and, you know, anything that I've needed to. And I've been doing the maintenance just like a lot of you. But the Rod and Staff Unions are the stabilizing force. I like to call them the parental uh, unions because they're taking on the mantle on themselves to elevate things for generally a very large area. And um, just please know that this is no... You know, this is not a god in the sky that doesn't know what's happening. A lot of people who are in the Rod and Staff Union, and that's a lot of you that I have spoken with, uh, you are living, eating, breathing some of the nastiness here. You are um, experiencing being ill. You are experiencing problems with the government. And... That's actually a part of it, believe it or not, of how do we shift it? How are we bringing everything and just uh, shifting it forward, making it so that it is not detrimental, but it is actually elevated. And along with that, proper mechanisms being put into place. So that's that's a big thing that they've taken on their shoulders. And if you are one, you know that you are. Okay, which leads me into famous people. Yes, we're going to begin talking about famous twin flames. They're out there. They're in every country. Rod and staff unions are in every single country and place on the planet in key, I would say in key places for stability while we continue ascending the rest of the planet. Famous. Famous. So I define this as not just celebrity. It can be someone in the public eye, which is locally famous, someone that people like to go see their show, of like a local band, a local singer. It can be someone who is uh, a leader of some kind. It can be politicians. But some of the most famous will begin to be, which means that they're going to get woken up. They will be awakened. They will be in a state of being where they are lovingly awakened, sometimes to find out that there's things in their life that they might have to adjust or dismantle, and full awareness of their twin flame. Uh, some people only have a vague feeling of who their twin is or sometimes this person will be so much up in the etheric that they might feel like they don't exist here in a physical body and this gets very confusing for people 
Uh, this is a lot of sessions that I've done where the person is not sure if their twin exists because they are feeling them on other levels. This is part of why people will say, gosh, I must be crazy. You're not crazy. You're not imagining some of this. And yes, famous people have an immortal soul. So do politicians. So that's some of the people. Many politicians, actors, actresses, musicians, singers, um, people in a related business to these. It could be uh, political managers that have a high profile. It could be the financiers. It could be also um, the managers, directors, producers. And most of these people, I would say all of these people to a T are the red ray. Now, one thing to let you know about the red, they are um, bringing in the passion. And some of the passion is expressed through various venues of entertainment or the public eye. And yet, the volume isn't turned up yet. So, um, I know this person belongs to someone out there, but I was very much uh, getting several songs as part of my message. And uh, one of them in particular was um, by Lana Del Rey, Summertime Sadness. I got my red dress on tonight, going out on the pale moonlight. I cannot do it as well as she does. She's got a fabulous voice. but. The message there was, there will be no summertime sadness like has been experienced in previous years. No more. And it's really interesting because when I pull up the computer to do something, you know, put a title on my video, that song is always on the side there. It's still there. It's been there for actually several weeks. And I haven't talked about it, but it's there. And that other one, which actually goes way back to, I believe, Tchaikovsky Ballet. I know you, I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you, the gleam in your eyes is so familiar a gleam. And that one, believe it, that's the one that's from Sleeping Beauty. I messed it up in my other video, but that was originally written, and then Disney used it, and then Lana Del Rey recorded it. So, um, this also was a message because people that are of the Golden Ray, a lot of you are having dream time with your twin. That's one of the things that begins happening. You're having dream times with your twin. It's important to pay attention to your dream time. Get to bed early so that you can have the conscious awareness of what's going on in the dream, what's being said to you, or what is being transmitted through the heart, because you're going to see those pictures that speak a thousand words. That is how we truly communicate. It's not telepathic. It is no longer, never will be. Telepathy is a thing of the old mental body. And so... Um, that's what I want to let you know is that the um, red rays, the orange, and the orange ray has quite a bit of challenges in letting go of old relationships. The platinum, which is the high level people that green light things, sometimes connected with money, and the green, which is healing and compassion and especially healing. Like some of these um, songs that people come out with, the lyrics, people's twins, the poetry of your heart is feeding the lyrics to your twin who then sings it out loud back to them. We get to enjoy it. We get to enjoy the very things that your twin is creating and some of those things that are created, the red and the green work together to bring healing. It's sometimes in a lyric, the voice, the way that something's said. And more than that, though, is the love being expressed between the couple. But that love is about to become very personal and private. 
and they will be who they came here to be. Also, just another note of, I guess, opening your eyes here is that as we continue to leave the ego mind of the collective, those of you who've awakened, recently awakened, been awake for a while, becoming aware of things, Many people will not know certain things. They don't know because they're 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 still can they're even getting to that glass ceiling. There some of you are like coming out and having a oh I can breathe. Except you got to keep breathing. You got to keep go you know knowing that you're elevating your energies and they're descending down into you. And so many people will not know what's going on. I want to just open your eyes and say, don't believe what your heart does not resonate with. Don't believe, if your heart doesn't resonate with something, don't believe it. Believe your heart, trust your heart. Trust your heart because this is a, a very huge transition that we're in right now. It's not easy to navigate, not for any of us. Okay, a couple of but my webinars that will help you around this time still the surrender into full union great stuff in there if you have not tried one of my webinars please do so i i get a lot of great feedback on them also daily living in multi-dimensionality this one is priced at 40 american dollars that's um you know for some people i understand that might be a lot of money in terms of what is out there and what is twin specific? This is twin specific information because what you'll find is that there are people that don't understand twin flame because they haven't experienced it. And so they'll only talk to you and it doesn't address what's going on on the other side. That's one of the differences. The other difference is, is you're a twin flame. You're a magical god or goddess. And in closing, what I'd like to show you is this, um, this couple, I've had a lot of couples lately, and let me tell you, when I do a couple session, they actually cuddle up, they kind of like, you know, get together and, and touch each other, and I did hear some of you, look who I found, I found some people here to work with, because we are all here, and we're all in this together. But they've found each other, and as they've been finding each other, little by little, as they've been getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, they have gathered in the four corners of everywhere that they've been to. You can see this a little better now in this lighting. And they're getting elevated, and it's going to be like this. You're just going to begin lifting off. So please trust. I know it's hard when it's uncomfortable. Trust the process. Trust that if you are away from each other, there's tons of stuff still getting refined. There's there's not the real heaviness getting purged out. The Blu-ray, the Rod and Staff Blu-ray Twin Flames have taken care of that. That's why I'm saying to you, some people don't know because they're still believing old stuff. There's, there's old mental beliefs there. Believe your heart. Believe what your heart tells you because it'll be up to you. And yes, time flies. Sooner than you know it, we're going to be in the northern hemisphere, no longer in that summertime sadness. We're going to be in a summer of fun here. That's the way I keep feeling it. And that, that's my message. I'm sticking to it. And thank you to everyone who has um, hang in here with your famous twin because your famous twin has needed you your platforms being created your famous twin will be do not despair do not give up hope thank you very much to everyone who stayed on the path keep looking for my uh information because i'm gonna you know some of this i'm doing on a smaller scale i'm gonna do another one uh, another angel time so keep looking for that thank you so much to everyone who has bought my webinars given me feedback and everyone who's had a session sessions on fire i love it thank you so much thank you to everyone who subscribed 
I really do appreciate it. And um, we're going to be we're going to be doing this for real. So don't doubt, don't doubt, no matter what fears are leaving you, the fear is going, everything you don't want and you're new, that's what's cracking off. Okay, take care, bye now.